Hey guys, welcome back to my MetaHuman Unreal Engine series. Today, I'll show you how to turn your MetaHuman into a playable character in Unreal Engine. This will allow you to control your MetaHuman using the keyboard, whether for a video game or any type of interactive project, just like what you can see on my screen right now. I recommend checking out my tutorial on importing your MetaHuman into Unreal Engine first. And if you have any custom clothing you'd like to add to your MetaHuman, be sure to watch my previous tutorial for guidance on that as well. All right, so the first thing we want to do is add the third person content to our project. The third person content in Unreal Engine provides a pre-built character setup, including movement mechanics, camera controls, and animations. It uses a mannequin model that can walk, run, jump, giving you a basic framework to quickly implement third person POV player controlled characters into your project. So in this tutorial, basically what we're doing is swapping this mannequin that comes with the third person content with our metahuman so that the metahuman becomes the playable character. So if we go back to where we left off in the previous tutorial, we have our MetaHuman with its custom clothing already imported into our project. To add the third person content, go into your content browser, right click and click add feature or content pack. Select third person and add to project. I'm going to open up my third person character blueprint by double clicking on it. And then I want to also open up my MetaHuman blueprint. I can either go into my MetaHuman folder or since it's already in my scene, I'll just click on edit BP here. Like I said before, what I'll be doing is replacing this third person character mannequin with my MetaHuman. So having both of these blueprints open and just switching between tabs is going to be quite useful. In your MetaHuman Blueprint, click on Body. Under Right, here under Mesh, click on the little folder with the magnifying glass. This will locate the skeletal mesh asset for your MetaHuman's body. Then in the third person character Blueprint, select the mesh. And under Mesh here, click on the arrow. This will replace the mannequin's body with the MetaHuman body. Next, we will copy all of the MetaHuman's parts inside the third person character blueprint. So go back to your MetaHuman, hold control and select feet, legs, torso and face. Hit control C to copy and then in the third person character blueprint, right click on mesh and click paste. Select them and just drag them under mesh to make them a child of the mesh. If they're not properly located and everything looks a little weird, just click reset on the transforms to make sure that they are all aligned. Next, we want to copy over the hair. So go back to the Mahetta Human Blueprint, select all of the hair, control C, and then paste in the third person blueprint. Make sure to drag them under the face so that they are a child of the face. Next, we need to assign the mannequin skeleton to the MetaHuman meshes, enabling it to work as a playable third person character. So first you're going to select your body mesh and click the folder again to locate it. Right click and go to skeleton, assign skeleton and select SK mannequin. Then click accept. Then we're gonna have to do the same thing for the other parts of the body. So select the feet. Sometimes for some reason, the meshes don't show up in the third person content blueprint. So you can just search for it in the meta human blueprint since they're both using the same mesh. Right click, skeleton, assign skeleton. Mm -hmm. 
SK mannequin, accept. Select the torso, search, right click, skeleton, assign skeleton, SK mannequin, accept. I don't have anything for legs, but if your metahuman is wearing pants or something like that, then you have to do the same process for the legs. Then in your third person blueprint, go over to animation class under animation and change it to ABP Quinn. You might see that again, things don't align perfectly. So to make sure that everything is linked and aligned properly, you'll have to go into the construction script. So once you're there, drag in torso, legs and feet. Set leader pose component and connect legs and feet into there as well. Then drag in the mesh and connect it to new leader bone component. And then connect the construction script. Click on compile and save. This will make everything linked and move together. All right, now I want to test and see what my character looks like in my scene so far. So first I'll make sure that my scene is using the third person game mode. So I'll click on this button here at the top, game mode, select game mode, base class, BP third person game mode. Then I'll add a player start just by clicking on add here, basic player start. and then press play to see what your character looks like so far. So it's not doing it for me right now because I think I already fixed it in this file, but sometimes the feet are kind of stuck on the ground. And so when your character is moving, it's like dragging its feet in a really weird way. To fix this, you'll have to go into your characters folder, mannequins, then to animations and open up the ABP Manny. The APB Quinn is basically a child of the ABP Manny, so you can just open that one up. Go to animation graph, go to control rig by double clicking on it. Go completely at the bottom in the full body IK and change the root to be animation underscore root. Compile and save. All right, so you might have noticed that I haven't added the accessories like glasses and earrings to the character yet. I just wanted to make sure that we were covering all the basics first, but now I'll just show you really quickly how to add your accessories to the third person character. So it's pretty much the same as the process before. Open up both your metahuman blueprint and your third person character blueprint. As you can see, I have some accessories on my metahuman and I'll just do the same as we were doing before, select them and copy paste them to the third person character blueprint. Make sure that in sockets on the right here, you assign the head as parent socket and now this part is going to be a little bit annoying because you'll have to manually place the glasses on the head again and you'll have to do the same thing basically for every accessory. So for the purpose of making this tutorial shorter, I'm just going to skip that part and go straight to the end where my accessories are properly placed. Ooh. 
let's test our character again. And so, yeah, I can use the WASD keys to run and the space bar to jump. So yeah, basically now it's a playable character just like in a video game. Now for final adjustments, I'll just show you how you can tweak the camera distance and the speed at which the character is walking or running. So let's start with adjusting the camera distance. I felt like it was slightly too far away. I generally prefer third person player games when the camera is slightly closer to the player so it feels more immersive. So to do that, you have to go into your third person character blueprint again, go to viewport, and just manually adjust the camera's distance in relation to the character. And then you can test it. Yeah, I already like that so much more. And then let me just try even a bit closer. And yeah, I love that. I think it looks really good. I also wanted to make my character walk instead of running everywhere. Um, girl really needs to learn how to chill. So to adjust the speed at which your character moves, you go again in the third person character blueprint. And in character movement here at the bottom, you can change the max walk speed here on the right. I put mine at two meters per second and let's test it. And yeah, I think this feels much better. I like how she's walking instead of running now. All right, so that's it for now. You can now use your MetaHuman as a playable character in any game that you're working on. As someone who has always had so much fun customizing characters in video games, it feels really empowering to know that I can create my own characters now without starting completely from scratch. So I hope this encourages you too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys. See you soon. Bye.